James Tracy here, Master Club Fitter, Second Swing Golf. Really exciting week in golf. Tiger just captures 80th win. We got Ryder Cup this week. Not to be lost in any of that is a brand new product launch from our friends at Titleist, the new TS line of drivers and fairway woods. Today I thought I'd just share with you guys a little bit of feedback. We've had this product now for a little over a month. We've been able to do some testing. We've done a bunch of fittings with it already. Just thought I'd share some of the takeaways that I've seen um, you know, for those of you who might be thinking about doing a driver fitting this fall or thinking about upgrading to a newer driver or maybe you're a Titleist aficionado and you just want to get a little bit more tech talk on the new product. So um, anytime a new product comes out, it's really just like Christmas for a fitter. Every time a company launches a new line of clubs, we're always anticipating that they're going to be better and that they're going to change something about that driver to make it win in our fitting bays a little bit. And the things that we were really hoping to see from Titleist to help introduce that product into our fittings a little bit more often and, and give us a little more ammunition to trying to help players get better is we were hoping that Titleist was gonna bring out a driver that was a little faster in terms of ball speed and a driver that was a little bit lower spinning. Those were the two areas where we felt like the 917 and the 915 sometimes wouldn't keep up with drivers from Callaway, TaylorMade, and Ping. And when you're talking about a driver, those are two of the most important metrics, especially when you're trying to achieve distance. You know, things that Titleist drivers have always been great at is creating the look, the feel, that tour-inspired you know, enjoyment factor when you're hitting a Titleist driver. No one's going to argue that the experience isn't great. But when you're stacking a Titleist driver in the past up against drivers that are faster in ball speed or maybe a little bit lower spinning, and we give that golfer the option of choosing whatever brand they want to play, a lot of times the metrics are falling a little bit short. And so the exciting news from this TS stuff is that early reports and early fittings, we've definitely seen the big time improvements in ball speed with both models. And then both models are noticeably lower spinning. So that's allowing fitters at second swing and around the country to achieve better results in terms of distance. Um, we're able to capitalize on the forgiveness and the shaft options that Titleist offers to really custom fit this driver uh, to every segment of player. You know, Titleist drivers, even 917 and 915, really offer fitters like me a huge advantage in terms of being able to adjust loft and lie angle independently to create not only setup preference, but ball flight preference. Um, and with the TS2, this particular head is definitely the, the driver and fairway wood option from Titleist that wants to fly straight. So I mean, if you're a player that maybe struggles a little bit with centerness of contact, maybe miss a few more fairways than you'd like to admit, you're probably going to hedge a little bit more towards TS2. In the past, that would be the D2 model. And the other difference between the D2 and D3 from the past that I'm not seeing much in fittings now is the difference in spin. Usually D3 probably was three, 400 RPMs lower spinning. So if I had a player that really struggled with spin, but needed the forgiveness that the D2 offered in 917 and 915, I really struggled to get that player to get that extra distance, especially compared to drivers like the Rogue, drivers like G400 or M4 from TaylorMade, which offer that forgiveness at a really low spin, at a really low spin rate. But TS2 and TS3 are very similar on spin this year. So if you're going in for a fitting or you're not sure about which head, you're really not choosing based on spin. You're choosing based on the look. TS2 is definitely a bigger looking head. It's a longer crown. So if you're inspired by a driver that gives you a little bit more confidence, maybe looks a little bit more forgiving, looks a little bit bigger, you're gonna hedge towards TS2. For players that really like that classic D3 shaping, smaller head, the more pear-shaped design, the SureFit CG weight allows you to put a little more fade or a little bit more draw bias into that head for players that are really looking to shape the ball off the tee box or maybe trying to eliminate the left or the right side um, as their main miss. That player is hedging more towards TS3. Um, overall, I would say at least three to 400 RPMs lower than 917, and probably even more than that versus 915. I've had a lot of Titleist players that maybe held onto the 915 and are seeing tremendous gains in, in lowering the spin, and then a little bit of a, a bump in ball speed too. In our fittings, we usually start by just testing heads. So Titleist versus Callaway versus Ping, 
versus TaylorMade, all with the same shaft, all at the same loft. And the TS product is definitely as fast as the competitors. So when you're comparing drivers, it really just comes down to what driver am I getting in play? What's helping me achieve the right mathematics in terms of the ball speed, the launch, and the spin? The new TS product is tremendously better than previous models at that. And then where Titleist is going to win always is in the look and the feel. And they've certainly captured that audience again by creating that really classic, timeless look. And the other thing that fitters love about Titleist is the shaft pack. So you have real deal aftermarket shafts from all your popular companies. This year they really have a great matrix from lightweight to a heavier weight for players that are have a shaft preference or we're trying to do things from a ball flight right and left standpoint. So we're really excited to work with this product. I would encourage everybody out there who's looking at a new driver this year to throw Titleist into the mix. Look at both models. You might be surprised. You might think you're more TS2, but actually find the TS3 gives you a little bit better results or you like the sound and feel. Same with the fairway woods. I'm doing a lot of combination TS2 driver, TS3 fairway wood, or vice versa. So it really is important to go through a fitting to really figure out how you can maximize performance with these new uh, clubs from Titleist. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Watch the Ryder Cup this weekend. Go USA. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. <laughs>